What's up guys, Matthew Mats Battles, and today we've got another draft battle. I'll try to do this more often. Um, we've got Jerry Eleven, again, the champion, versus Mega Turtles. Okay. I'm going to try to get other people, but um, Jerry generally likes doing these, and I'll be able to get him versus Mega Turtles 10. So, Jerry's first combo is Vulcan Zarafa, 105 Wide Ball. By the way, the bays are Rock Zarafa, um, Burn Cancer, Gravity Destroyer, Flame Sagittario, Rock Leon, Earth Virgo, Rock Orso, Beat Lynx, Screw Fox, Vulcan Rusis, Vulcan Rusis. I think that's all of them. And Mega Turtles 10's first combo is Featherface, Burn, and Gasher. 81 for 5 DS, or Burn Cancer. So, launch Mega Turtles in first. We've got more stamina. Obviously, that does not mean home run. Oh, I knocked out right away. I did not get my left vision launcher. Let me death for destroyer. So, Jerry one's running one. I'll get a while the battle's going on. And the is still spinning. Vulcan's, you know, strong for attack, so if we can get a knockout, then you know, that's big. I think overall, I would say Jerry um, is a bit better. But, a lot of that's because, you know, these bays are a lot higher recoil parts, and, except for, uh, Burn here. Jerry got a lot of them, so it's gonna be hard for Mega Turtles to get, you know, those knockouts. Boy, is that Gasher, like, really light on him. He looks lighter on the camera than he does. He looks like Zarafa's color on the camera, with, like, no editing. I'm glad I can edit, you know, with him not moving Maker anymore. It's kind of, it's a bit more fun to edit, admittedly. Now I can do some things with lighting. And let's, unless there's a late knockout, even if EDS is getting towards this limit, I think EDS is still going to Yeah. So, I'm going to try those ones again. One thing you may notice is that a lot of attack wheels like Vulcan. Right? No! Um. There we go. Okay, so. Mega Turtles wins round one. There is no. Um. This is gonna be great. We've got Rock Orso, D125B, from uh, JR11, and uh, Mega Turtles from Vulcan Resist, 145B. Um. There's no tactics, so we just have a bunch of high recoil wheels. And here's D being aggressive though. D and Wide Ball are both aggressive. A good matchup for Jerry this time is Jerry got the uh the lower bay. Jerry went for more low spin tracks for the Mega Turtles. Mega Turtles also went for more three coily parts. I'm guessing it was to get knockouts. While Jerry went for like Earth and Flame. I do like Jerry's draft a bit more this time, but I don't hate Mega Turtles. And there's a good base overall. There's no like torch areas or anything, you know? The base left for nobody went for foxes and injuring. Nobody went for it was TR145. Nobody went TR145. Nobody went beat. And nobody went for spike. So Jerry's gonna win that one. Oh. I was fine out this lost a lot of stamina. And Jerry's gonna get another win. I like Crucius a lot, but um yeah, Horusius can get knocked around quite a bit. A bit more than, you know, he knocks the other baby, I think. Almost got knocked out there. I think Orso's got more stamina. Ooh, there's a knockout. Note, if you want to... Um, do, do one of these, um... Link uh, for the Discord. You have to be in the Discord to do it. Um, there is going to be, it's not technically official as of recording this, but there is going to be an age limit of 14 and above. So you, you have to be, you have to be 14. I don't want anybody younger than that. I've got reasons. So yeah, so we've got Jerry with Earth Virgo, GB145 WD, and Mega Turtles 10 with Ra uh, Screw Leon, R145 Wide Ball. Good matchup for Jerry. 
getting his earth bait here, I think, because I don't think Screw's gonna knock out Earth. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it will have enough attack power. I mean, Screw's got some good attack. He's got, you know, an aggressive tip and R145. Earth is a good defense. So it's gonna be hard to get a hit big enough on Earth to send it over the Tornado Ridge and out of the stadium. Gotta love my little tissue inside my stadium. Maybe I'll take everything off of that and just retake it. Maybe. I mean, there should be more than enough packaging tape here on this to do it. So Jerry's gonna get win round one. Bad matchup for um, Negaturtles too. Because he definitely probably would want screw against something that it's a more guaranteed or higher chance that he wins. Not having to get lucky and get an earth knockout. He's gotten close, like he's gotten some big hits, but it's just, that's difficult to do. If he's facing, you know, Rock or Vulcan, then I mean, he already beat Vulcan, but it's a good one. So it is one to one. Jerry's won the previous two, you can go check them out. I believe I've got a playlist for these. If not, they'll be in the end card. Or not the end, yeah, the, uh, the end screen. We'll have both of them. Not the end card. Well, I guess it's the talent card. But the end, we'll have both of them. And Jerry's gonna win again. I will do all the battles too. Because, you know, I wanna show off all the base. It's fun. I mean, this is what this is. It's, you know, drafting parts with the. Uh, Taking apart bays and drafting parts with those bays and making combos to win. What you don't know though is what combos your opponent is going to make, just the parts they have. And you don't really know um, what order it's going to be either. But there's a lot of strategy in this, it's quite fun. In my opinion. I haven't done it against anybody yet, but I've done it against uh, my friend RL. I'll probably post that sometime. I do have a record, it's just a really long video, it's like a 20 minute video. So Jerry's gonna win there with Earthburgo. So next we've got uh, Mega Turtles. Uh, there's a hair, big hair. So Mega Turtles 10 has Rock Sagittario, 145 BS, and Jerry 11 has Flame Links, 90 WD. It's gonna be very difficult for Mega Turtles. Hair, get off of me. Okay. It's gonna be very difficult for Mega Turtles. Because he's got a low, he's got a low bay here. Now, BS does have good stamp. Oh, stay out. So BS has good stamina. It's just the stabilization. He's facing a low flame bay. And this is WD is a bit aggressive, you know. So if he does pull it out, though, we'll have a good last match. I mean, we'll have a good last match anyway. But there's more stakes when you know. You're fighting for something, and it's not somebody's already lost. That stadium out definitely hurt Mega Turtles, though. Because he looked pretty good early on. Now, you know, he's already stabilized. So he's going to hit links from above. So he might be able to get some um, balance back. It's kind of those, sometimes you uh, you hit below, sometimes you hit above. Now, uh, Flame Links is going off balance, and he's kind of getting some hits below. It's going to come down to the wire. I think the Links has an advantage for being WD. But if he can't get under him, it's not going to matter. Like, now he's in a bad, bad, bad position. He could still get hits and knock him out, though. But he does not. There we go. Okay. Does not. So it's 1-1. One, one. Mega Turtles is fighting to stay alive. Now, Flame does have a lot of attack power. I'm not sure if we'll get consistent knockouts. Oh, this time, this time Mega Turtles is going to knock out. Okay. So, it's 2 1. There's room to breathe if he gets to stabilize one of these matches. Also means he can get stadium out again. Hopefully, you know, for him that doesn't happen again. You also get to see a lot of weird combos because you, know, you have to make combos with what's given. I would have loved to see 145 on this combo. Oh, just stabilized. He's gonna catch up though. Hit him in a good position, get himself back on balance, get to stabilize again, and repeat. Lynx is gonna get a hit under him now. Now Lynx is going a bit wide. Oh, no, good position for Lynx. This can go either way. Lynx definitely has more stamina right now, though. Yep, let's well, say if Megatrolls gets hit under the fusion wheel, he's going down, and that's what happened. Oh, 
Oh, Link's got to the middle. He didn't go aggressive this time. Megatrolls needs to get him out of the middle. If he's, if Link's is in the middle, Link's is going to win 100%. Because it's going to be so much easier for him to get under Sagittarius. This is not playing Capricorn here. Oh, big hits. Oh, and he completed the same lines. Mega Turtles looked like he had a shot there, but Lynx is going to take it. So that means Jerry Levin is your winner overall, but we will be doing the last match still. We've got Rock Rusius for Jerry Levin, C145 WTD, with the not particularly new WTD, though it's a bit hard to see. And then we've got Mega Turtles 10 with Grab Your Destroyer, 8145 WTD. There's a theme here for going very stock or very close to the stock. I want to WT 2D in first, just to make sure it doesn't go crazy right away. Oh, and there's a knockout. I mean, might as well just, uh... This match, you know, in the end isn't, uh, really... Doesn't mean anything, so might as well just, uh, <laughs> let's destroy him like that. Light on Herusius looks really wild. It kind of looks like there's a hair sticking above him. Destroyer should spin still, though. I would give the story the advantage, honestly. I mean, especially in this battle, because I'm also in way afterwards. <laughs> but overall, I give the story the advantage because it's harder to knock out Destroyer in my opinion in the rotation. And he's going to spin still a bit. I mean, say what you want about Gravity Destroyer and Lightning on Drago, but they're still going to spin steel a little bit. I got Discord notification. I'll check that in a second, though. We gotta finish the video. Or not W2D with the life after death. So. And, oh, okay. So Rock Rusius took that one after being launched in way earlier and getting a knockout. So it is 2 over Rock Rusius. I underestimated W2D. I thought this WT would be crazier and not as good because it's a bit worn, but it's still good. This is why I like W2D. Nobody uses it. Nobody uses it. But I've got good W2Gs and I like W2D. I want WD for the CBT and I haven't recorded it yet, but I'm facing Mega Turtles who's a flash combo and I've got Phantoms, so I'm going to get killed. I'm not relying on uh, getting uh, Mr. Refreshing him. We faced three or four times, should have faced a fifth, but this will be the actual fifth. And it's going to be close. Is Rears just going to take it again? Oh. I called that a draw. I couldn't tell. Oh. Full knockout. Try that again. Hits. Oh, there you go. WTD got a little crazy there for a second, but recovered very quickly. Big hits, and I think Destroyer is losing his stamina quicker. He's also more off balance. If WD gets pushed to its limit, which it's got it. Ah, uh, that's kind of close. I'm not sure it's going to happen. Yeah, WD's not getting pushed over anymore. I was going to say, it looked like for a second maybe WD gets pushed to its limit. Because you know, when it gets pushed to the very edge of the WD tip, it loses stamina very quickly. So does EDS, you saw that in uh, Burn Gasher, for Burn Cancer. Technically, it's the Takara Tomi one, so it's Burn Cancer. Now, let's see how this goes. They're both losing stamina, about the same rate. Bruce has got them just barely. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you want to do draft battles again, go into the Discord, and that's where we set them up. And uh, yeah, really fun. Glad the. Um, it was a fun one to do. I hope I'm able to do a lot more. Uh, I enjoy these a lot. So, yeah. Thank you for entering Mega Turtles and Jerry, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my, I feel like my camera moved. Where did the stadium move? Maybe the stadium moved. It's supposed to be up a little bit. Weird. I mean, I've got it taped, so I don't know what it is. I guess it just moves under me. Okay, anyway. See you guys in the next video.